and welcome back to another new video and this is your Manchester United team news for the match in the Champions League as we host Villarreal as we look for revenge from the Europa League final. This is how I think we should line up. We've got a few injuries and a suspension to talk about here so there's a few changes to happen to be made so without further ado let's see another video. I'm going to start off in net, stab at the head, has to start in nets for this one. I know we had a horrible game against Villarreal in the Europa League, missing the penalty, conceding 11 penalties in the shootout. Around that, that was pretty poor. However, this season he started off fantastically. He's got his feet in the ground and he's doing very good. He should start in goals. Left back, um, Luke Shaw is out for a few weeks, unfortunately. So we're going to have to go with Alex Tellez here. I mean, it isn't a bad choice, however. I would have definitely preferred Luke Shaw on the left <clears throat> side of the defence. And the right, um, Juan Basaka, of course, as we all know, unfairly suspended against young boys. So now we're going to have to go with Diogo Dalo, who just like Tellez is pretty decent. I mean... I maybe mean, would have started that over on Basaka in this one, you know. I mean, it isn't the end of the world that um on Basaka's out. However, Dalla will start in right back, and then two centre backs. Harry Maguire is out injured. Just letting you know that um he's out for about a month or so. A big loss for us. Rafael Varane, however, is available and he will start as the main striker to lead the defence today, hopefully. And alongside, I might have gone with Eric Bay. I'm not too sure about Lindelof. I don't think he's that good anymore. And I think Eric Bay is a no-nonsense centre-back. He'll clear the ball any time it comes to him. So we should start alongside Raphael Varane at centre-back. And then two players in midfield, Donny van der Beek. This is the type of game Donny for Donny van der Beek to prove his worth. Um, I don't want to keep on repeating himself, myself, but this is the chance for Donny van der Beek to prove himself to Oleg on a Solskjaer that he should be a regular starter. He's he's done very good when he's got the chance, and I feel like in this game he'll have another good performance. And alongside him, I'm going to go with Paul Pogba. Now, in my eyes, Paul Pogba has not been working out in the left. I mean, he did sort of work out in the left at the start of the season. However, now he's just not looking like he's he is working out in the left. So pushing back in the centre here. And then up a cam, we're going to go with Bruno Fernandes, pretty obviously. On the left, I've got a pretty con controversial um, pick here. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm going to pick out on the left. I think um, we've got plans for the striker position. So I think Cristiano Ronaldo should go out on the left. However, I still think he can con contribute uh, loads of more stuff into this game. And he can score another goal, definitely. On the right, I think it should be Jadon Sancho. I know he hasn't had the best of starts to life uh, with Manchester United, however... This is the game where he can get his feet in the ground and he can do good. He just shouldn't be sitting on the bench. Just give him a wee bit of time and he will gel into the team. And finally, up top, I've gone with Edinson Cavani. He's strong in the air. He was fantastic for us last season. I'm pretty sure he scored the goal in the Europa League final to bring it to extra time and penalties against Villarreal. So he has scored against Villarreal. So do you think he should start up top? Now for the score reduction. I'd love to say Manchester United would win here 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. However, I just cannot see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doing good. I think he'll play McFred in here. He's going to drop Sancho again. Um, he's, he's going to put Pogba in the left. He's going to do everything wrong. And we're going to draw nil-nil. I think that's my prediction. It's going to finish a goalless draw. Nil-nil. I'm just not confident anymore that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can get the job done. So that's how I think it'll finish. Manchester United nil. Villarreal nil. That's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to like, share, subscribe and turn on the pieces as I always ask you to. And I'll see you in my next video.